Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you. It is a beautiful day out here, and I got a pair of kicks that my good buddy Silent Z hit for. He got these on the confirmed app. I tried for them. This is a pair of foam runners. I think two pair dropped. I went for them both on Yeezy Supply and confirmed app. Struck out both places. No big surprise. I think I've only hit for foam runners one time for retail and that wasn't my size that was over a year ago too the sulfur and the stone sage pairs just dropped he was able to hit for the stone sage pair and he let me borrow them to make this review for you all so silent z thank you sir if you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out then hit that subscribe button let's look at these yeezy foam runners in the stone sage colorway man i am so happy that the weather's nice I love it. It don't get much better than this, you know? But in true Yeezy fashion, we got a plain cardboard box. These are even more plain than like all the other Yeezys that we get. This is a flip top lid and there's not really any branding or anything on there. If I can get it open, my word. You can see on the outside, there's really nothing. There is a sticker there on the outside that has the size, says size 13. But then when you open it up on the underneath, it says foam. And then it says runner there in the back of the box. And there on the bottom, you can see Yeezy foam runner, stone sage, and the size is a US 13. I always go one size up from my regular size on foam runners and it works out pretty well i think across the board they run pretty small so i would assume this is the same i think retail on these was 80 dollars, which is pretty good uh resell i believe is below 200 for the time being and then without further delay here they are the silhouette has really grown on me they are pretty weird but um I kind of like that. I like that it's something so different and out of the box. And they do feel pretty good on feet. I didn't realize until I opened up this pair, but there's actually different colors on these. It's very, very hard to notice, but hopefully being outside you can tell. But there's like three or four different shades of this like tannish brown. And you don't even really notice it that much when you're looking at it kind of from a distance. But when you look at it close, you can definitely see there's some different shades of that tannish brown on there. And I think that's kind of neat. I thought they were all just solid colored shoes. There on the outsole, you can see we kind of have like a, it's just like a wavy tread pattern. And it has like grooves in it and everything where it meets the ground but it's just real unique looking pretty cool up in this groove there's some adidas branding i don't know if you can see that or not it's hard to see it even in person the same material that they have on the outsole is the same material throughout it's just this weird very smooth feeling foam and i don't know they're really unique i think they're comfortable on feet and i got some wear out of my okra pair i don't wear them a whole lot just because i don't know i don't know why i don't wear them a whole lot i never see anybody i feel like i would wear them more if like people came over or something like that but i still wear slides more than anything else to be honest they definitely have a unique shape they're just all one piece and you can see that all these you know holes are cut into it or i guess they're made with like an injection mold so basically i think they just fill the mold and then it takes the shape but i think they make these with some sort of like algae or something like that i think it's a pretty natural process which i think is cool they definitely just look like they're from the future or something, you know. And then I don't remember if my pair had a tag on it when I got them, but it does have a tag that says Yeezy Foam Runner, and it's on there with twine. 
and then there are stickers down on the inside if you can see that and that has the size but really there's not there's not a whole lot to go over with them I mean they're just a crazy unique shoe the real thing that surprised me was just that there's more than one color and even in the sunlight it's kind of hard to see but there's just varying shades of like tan and brown that I don't know it's real it's very subtle and I think that's pretty neat but I kind of like these even more than what I like the okra color I just like it's more of like a grayish tan whereas the okra was more of like a cardboard type tan if that makes any sense and I think I think part of what makes them so comfortable is just all these little bumps that it has on the footbed like it feels nice on the bottom of your feet and it also has that up on the inside of the shoe like up around the collar I don't know if you can see that or not but I just think they feel neat on the bottom of your feet and then here on the inside of this one it says foam runner 13 US made in China I wish they would I wish they would have a version made in the US ever since I just got a pair of the New Balance made in US shoes I think all companies should offer a pair made in the US and I know that's just wishful thinking but I think that'd be cool but anyhow I mean that's that's pretty much it there's not a whole lot to go over with these the silhouette has grown on me but it's not something that i feel like i need to go out and pay resale for i mean i have the okra pair but I, they're okay they're pretty cool i would like to get a pair for retail and then run them into the ground i think i'm having a hard time even putting the okras on foot because i paid just about double retail and to me i think that's a little bit high for foam runners but hopefully they'll just keep giving us color after color and maybe one day manual coppers will be able to get pairs easily i don't know it's it's kind of hopeless i'm a little bit i'm a little frustrated with easy supply to be honest but anyhow let me know what you all think of these let me know if the yeezy foam runner is something that you would wear or not i think it's definitely one of those things like you either love it or you hate it and i think they're cool i would like to get a pair for retail but i don't see that happening anytime soon but anyhow i hope you all have a great day and i'll catch you on the next one i'm out